Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Today is already the match day in certain countries. Yeah, I said it. I know, I know. It's still Friday in other countries. But do you think that you live alone in this world, my friends? <laughs> Some people are already up on Saturday. So, Saturday, all the jokes aside, Chelsea away at Leicester City. It's a must-win game. We have to confirm the so-called good form that we've been having. Couple games that we played lately and we won both of them. You know, you might say not that convincingly, but hey, you have to start somewhere. So the question is, is that going to be Modric or Pulisic? Because Raheem Sterling is out, according to Graham Porter. What is going to be your choice, my friends? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Only one click away, my friends, and you're all set. And don't forget also to join us Saturday, two hours before the game. We're going to be on Soka IQ. Yeah, not GFC. Soka IQ is a new channel. Very small channel. I need your help. Join us over there. The link is always provided for everybody to call and have your say. So see you then on Saturday. To bed. Put the game to bed. Actually put the game to bed. Probably should have put the game to bed. Probably put the game to bed. All right, my friend. So... Before the press conference, I said that uh, we should go three at the back, and this was my like my lineup and formation kind of. I went with Kepa Abragadabra, Mr. Arisa Balaga in goal, back three of Marco Kurea, uh, Kalidu Kulibali, and Wesley Fofana. Wing backs, I said, Rhys James, Chile. And my pivot, I went with uh, Kova, Enzo Fernandez, and my front three, Sterling, Kai Havert, the silky German. And I went also with uh, Joao Felix. Okay, that was before the injury news that we got from Graham Pora. So now that we know, Rhys James is not going to be there. Raheem Sterling is not going to be there. And some other other names that we're going to discuss. I changed my mind. All right, my people. So, I have more questions than answers. Are we going to see Modric or Christian Pulisic? Let me know in the comment section down below. For me, I will go with Modric. I don't want to go with, uh, you know, online tribalism and thing. You know, I was supposed here to come and hype my boy, Pulisic, but I think he's coming from a long-term injury. This guy here is training like, like a beast. If you look at his gym program and all that, he's amazing. I think he need a chance. So, I will go with Modric. What, what, what is your choice? This is the reason why I put question mark with two people in one position. My choice is Modric. What is your choice? I know we have more than 15 players apparently in this, in this lineup. But I'm trying to make a, a point. Okay, It's not like we're going to play with 15 players on the pitch. But if you see two players in the same position... I'm just trying to make a point. Does that make sense? All right. So that was my, my first question for you. The second question is, I'm a little confused confused here. Uh, between Badiashil or Kukureya. Kukureya had an amazing game, you know, against the... Dortmund, but that was in Europe. In the Premier League, is a different animal. And you might need a little bit of height and a little bit of calmness from somebody like Badia Shil. 
So, it's gonna be really unfair if you don't reward somebody like uh, Kukureya another game. You don't punish people who did good previously. Only at Chelsea we see most of the time Pulisic had a great game. The next game he's on the bench and then we're gonna see him after four months. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you reward people based on performances, not based on names. You know what I mean? So I am really confused between Mr. Badiashil here and Mark Kukurea. What is going to be your choice? For me, I'm tempted to go now that I'm tempting. I know in my previous video I said let's go with Kukurea, but this time around I'm leaning a little bit, little bit toward uh, Badiashil for the height and knowing how, uh, you know, Leicester City are more direct and they 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 are very good on set pieces and all that. So we need the height and calmness. So I'm leaning this time toward. Benoit, Badiashila, Kepa, Arisa Balaga. I have nothing to say now. Um, Kulibali, of course, Thiago Silva is not there and he had a very good game. His very good back three is the system that suits him the most. And uh, yeah, Fofana, Wesley, I know that he's, he's immense. Chile is going to remain as my wing back. And uh, Ruben loves to chick. Also, we all know what he can do. Pivot is going to remain the same. Kova and Enzo. And uh, front, front three, I already talked about Polisic and uh, Modric. And then it's going to be the silky German from the middle or from a free roll here, the way he did against, uh, against Borussia Dortmund. And of course, how can you even take this guy out of the team. <laughs> Joao Felix, he need to be there. Anyways, my people, so you can make a case and this is the we, we we are we are rich right now. This is a good problem to have because you have people from the bench who can help, okay? You can go for Denis Zakaria Denis Zakaria, he can come, come in the second half when we need a little bit of height and energy from the bench when we are leading already like 2-0 to shield here and take Kovacic off or something, you know? So this is a good situation to have. You can't play 25 players on the pitch. Somebody is going to complain. So instead of complaining and blaming me, listen, this is not what... Uh, Grandpora is going to do. He's the boss. He's going to make decisions. I am just predicting. I'm just giving my biased opinion. So instead of fighting me, probably you can come up with your lineup and we have fun here. Okay? Don't attack anybody. That is just my choice. You can also make a point about Noni Madweke. Very good player. He deserves a chance. But like I said, somebody is going to complain. Hakim Ziyech. I don't know about that, but he can always come and help Chelsea. Oba apparently got uh, some back problem. I'm just wondering if Kova, uh, Oba, not Kova, Oba injury is just diplomatic because the manager don't want to play him. I'm not really sure that he's, he has some issues with his health because we see him every single day in training, smiling, training hard, and... It's been like weeks and months now that Grandpora is repeating the same thing. I think since the Nottingham Forest game, he's giving us some stupid excuses saying, oh, he got a back problem. He got a back problem. He got No, no, no. I don't believe in this one. I think this is just diplomatic because he doesn't want to play him. Let me know what you think. Uh, score prediction. I'm going to stick with 2-1 Chelsea Football Club. And this time, listen, I'm going to change the goal scorer. I think it's going to be Modric. I really want him to score at any cost, man. I want Modric to score. And I also want Enzo Fernandez to score. A golasso from nowhere. Because people are criticizing them. We spent a lot of money. They're not scoring. Look at Cody Gakpo, blah, blah, blah. So I want them to kick off 
their career at Chelsea Football Club by some golassos against the Foxes.